Thanos in fuck I, about a year, so oh, th- this is going to be an interesting set. That's interesting, for sure. interesting. Set. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this interesting is your set. first yeah. time uh, using Bucks gear, isn't it? Too. I uh, using the R one. Yeah, it's it's uh, definitely going to be interesting. <laughs> Thanks for everybody who tuned in. Um, I know that not that many, you guys partying tonight, tonight. But we got exactly. lots of we got lots of new music and. St- you are now tuned into late night being nasty beats. You are now tuned into late night being nasty beats. You are now tuned to the You are now tuned to late night being last There we have it, guys. Uh we're back. To change the microphone settings, but yeah. no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, welcome back to another episode of hashtag B and B ninety two late night B nasty beats or ninety sec or no, it's ninety three actually. Yeah. <laughs> we're on ninety three tonight. Ninety three, man. I'm off. I'm off today. I'm off. But yeah, ninety three, episode ninety three, live in Calgary, Alberta. Um, Woo! Ninety three weeks of doing this, and uh, we got special guest Stephen Salisbury. Say what's up. What's up? Steven Salisbury here. Steven Salisbury is going to be playing for us. What are you going to be playing for us tonight? Music. <laughs> <laughs> well, what kind? What I like to I'm, hear. I'm leaning towards some techno, tech trance. We'll see how it ends off. Oh, interesting. I go with my, my gut. Nice. Go with the heart. Nice, the nice. <laughs> nice. That should yes. be a good one. Um, we're excited. We're excited. All right. Maybe get them decks ready. Yeah, get, get, your get, get them decks ready. And then we also have Al Capone. Say what's up. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Al Capone in the his house. Yeah, in we the basement just did. Again. Yeah, in the... In the, <laughs> in the <laughs> Emphasis on the bass, you know? The bass, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, it should be a special one. We have, It's going to be our one hour tonight. But luckily, if you guys didn't... If you guys missed, we, on Saturday, we did our three-hour special. So before... Mm-hmm. Yeah, so let's uh, let's get the question. Let's get the question for you guys to get your names in the draw. Um, let's see, we just dropped a new track actually uh, last Friday for um, pre-order actually. So if you guys can name the EP, just simple, just the name. It's an easy EP name also. So um, just put the name in the comments below. You get your names in the draw. Let's get buff. You are now tuned to late night being last
Ain't no doubt about it. Got him. 
start stumping. And the jam is moving. Look at him, the body jumping. Pump it up a little more. Get the party going on the dance floor. See, cause that's the party back in my body.
sensation and Transmitted vibration.
messed up with this technical issues but as long as you guys heard that um ep what do you guys think of it two up looks like he loves that shit <laughs> we got some questions from two up actually thanks for the questions we got some questions questions from jennifer lee and sarah hanlon are you ready steven salisbury i don't know i hope so <laughs> yes <laughs> okay one so we got first one jennifer lee where have you played in calgary do you um, have anything upcoming Nothing upcoming. Where have I played? Uh, a basement in Scenic Acres, mostly. Uh, I played at the DJ competition at Habitat this spring. Finished awesome. in some position above 12. Awesome. Never quite got the final answer on that, to be honest. Awesome. Um, another one is uh, Sarah Hanlon wants to know, what is your total three favorite genres and what is your least favorite? Oh, such a loaded question. Favorite ask, genres. They always ask that question. That's why. Favorite genres. Well, um, I guess pretty obvious. I like three. I go progressive, techno, and trance. They all have yeah. their own. They all have their moments. I hate making a, a pick because they, they <laughs> all have their moments. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But, uh, yeah. d and is probably my least favorite, but I don't mind it. I yeah. just can't handle it for extended periods of time. Oh, I see. I it see. It's and then oh cool okay well and yeah another one from jennifer lee is what is your favorite aspect when it comes to djing uh, honestly i just like i just get in the zone i find it very soothing i don't know if anyone can tell quite yet but i have a hard time articulating myself sometimes verbally so i mm. like to i can do a lot on that that i can't do with my vocal cords yeah does that make sense yeah so I instead of sense. talking and scaring people i just go do that and let them figure it out <laughs> <laughs> awesome awesome um yes. we got some questions from two up uh i, I can't ask all of them because uh we got to get tim has some questions for you as well ain't that right oh yeah i've got a few for you yep. cool <laughs> well i mean we've got time you know yeah. we don't have another dj on we yeah, can ask as true. many as we can Okay, so two up wants well, to know. Let's do a big interview today. Why two, not? Two, oh my God. Two, two up wants to know where are you from? Where are you from, Stephen? I'm from Calgary. I'm born and raised Northwest Calgary. Awesome. Ranch lands. Canadian side. Canadian DJs, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Calgary. Calgary DJs even yep. better. <laughs> where does Stephen sound? Where do you get your sound influences? Uh, I guess. Uh, honestly, I. <sighs> such a hard question obviously just from things you listen to growing up i was very much uh got into the the music scene when it was uh the late 90s 2000 um things were quite different back then i was very much uh techno frankie bones adam x those kind of guys uh all-time life-changing dj i ever saw was marky g which is straight up Oh hard yeah, trance and, <laughs> hard dance. And, and honestly, I, he has a lot of stuff that wasn't so popular, like not played out. But he was, he has some seriously crazy techno releases as well on Blackout Audio. Yeah. I don't even know if that's even still out there or not. But he was a <coughs> major influence because that guy was just, um, well, let's say retarded. <laughs> Definitely. Sick. 
Definitely. And no, no, that. Yeah. I saw him uh, at a rave that was one of the last ones before all the shit crashed. Um, back up at the Westbrook Mall, the Dewey Stevens oh. and Misty's nightclub. Yeah, they yeah. sold that, and the guy who I'm not sure what's going with it now, but uh, Motion Notion, James Catalyst, uh, Catalyst Productions, threw a crazy rave called Meld at uh, that place when they were in between selling and getting reopened to something else. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they had Misty's and Dewey Stevens changed into basically a two room rave, and uh, that was pretty much like a turning point. For me, anyway, the, awesome. the things I heard and things I figured out at that place was unexplainable. So I'll, just awesome. stop, I'll stop trying. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, another one is, what did you listen to while growing up and his first introduction to music? Well, the first I, I guess you just answered that pretty much. Well, yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. First introduction to music was probably my mom and church choir. Oh. It yeah. wasn't really much of a beat. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. No, I think all of us have been to choir, like choir before, yeah. you know, lots of things. I went through all the phases. I was a metalhead in high school. I had long hair. I, I actually remember myself saying to somebody who else who listened to, like, dance music yeah. that I couldn't understand what the hell they liked about that stuff because there was no words. It just the same beat over yeah, and yeah. over and over. And, well, <laughs> <laughs> I hate those people now. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not that I hate them, but I, I guess I understand where they come from because I did I, think I, that at some point, but I figured yeah. it out. That, that, that actually comes to this question here that actually two up um, the last one. But he like, when house music was the same, is the, is the house music the same as when it was back in 1999, 2001? And it's actually, it hasn't, it hasn't been. But he also was writing the thing um, too is uh, like, before he used to always love hard house and stuff like house he didn't really like at all but now yeah. he does and that's kind of like what it is i think it's like just the ev- evolution of sound and like the pr- like i think it's the actual production programs too right i yeah. mean like all the sounds all the synthesizers all the like new shit makes it like almost you can make any fucking sound like back in the day they were only so limited to like Very you know true. like bass lines like a certain kick and stuff like that like they so yeah, limited, the, right? The bass lines I've no I could say like are just beyond comprehension sometimes now. Like yeah, I, I just yeah. actually like she's it's talking to went to Shams and the bass is ridiculous. Yeah, it's a, it, it's not just a beat else. anymore. There's so much stuff that is like the bass line is bass lines could be it's ba- not a beat, it's yeah. a bass. Yeah, line. bass lines can actually be like I've seen like bass lines up pro- like eight different eight different like tracks. Like, if you know in production, there's, yeah. like, different layers, right? Yeah. Eight different layers, and, like, that's pretty crazy, man. And but there's uh, probably crazier ones, too. Well, and that's it. it but it's just a, it's such a different style now, and I find myself, like, having a hard time with a lot of the newer stuff because mm-hmm. I am old. But uh, I find the stuff back in the day might have been not as many options, but they learned to use all the options. And, like, the progressive stuff back then was, in my opinion, the best stuff ever, like, old school Sasha John Digweed and stuff like that yeah the stuff was ridiculous it was there was layer upon layer upon layer upon layer and the sounds weren't maybe the most intense and digitally mastered sounds but they mm. were used properly yeah and well and I think I heard, I heard uh, an older DJ talking about stuff today as well like the EDM I guess the trance it's not the same it's very they're very aggressive. Like the sounds are like they try and make everything so hard and so yeah. intense. But sometimes you just need some a lot of not so intense stuff to layer upon layer and all of a sudden it's way more intense than that shit. Yeah. And you never saw it coming because the DJ didn't stop and count down from three, two, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to drop that part. <laughs> it's so annoying. Yeah, well that was the last of those questions. Tim, I believe, has some more questions and then we're gonna yeah, be doing a draw here. So, what is your most memorable experience in the music scene? Either, like, on stage, behind stage, or just, like, in crowd, you know? Enjoying the vibes. Mm. Interesting fact. Honestly, I... Holy crow, that's a hard question. There's so many <laughs> different... Uh, yeah, I Different aspects, I guess. Like for, the, for the music, for myself, like, there's... There was the one, I'd say the Mel, that, that rave was insane. And it was just how it all came together. And it was, if you've ever if you remember those bars, they, w- they weren't huge 
arenas so you were you could get up close and see what's going on and some of the stuff if you started it was when i was starting to sl swing from like just going to raves to becoming interested in the mixing mm. and it's a it, yeah. from the point that i switched over it actually i kind of at moments miss not being a, like just a raver because i could listen to music now i like i i'm honestly i'm on you dj like i hear you yeah. I hear the beat slipping. I heard that, and I, I'll yeah. look around and I'll see everyone just going crazy. And I'm like, "What do you mean? Like, didn't you hear that? It was not, like, not everybody's DJ fucked though, up." That. And I sometimes I'll see it on that DJ's. I saw him fuck up. He knows. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I yeah, saw yeah. him, but I look yeah, around. Yeah. Everyone else is cool. They're like, "Yes," mm -hmm. and I have to try. I try and remind myself of that sometimes too, because they I, people don't obsess about it quite like i do and notice everything oh no every dj trust me every it, dj's thinking the down but once yeah like once you've got <laughs> to the dj point you can't go back no you can't but you, you well, have you, to you, try and let it go a little bit sometimes otherwise you just yeah. won't have any fun yeah it's and just I a trained ear right yeah. trained ear but no like i mean i i get that too like what I, but you don't really come across that many bad djs like no oh, no right, and right. it's i'm not saying they're bad even but it's just the little things like just a little, yeah 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 as yeah. a dj as well mm -hmm. like i'll be doing something and even if it's the tiniest like quickest moment i knew it happened i i was there it, trained ears I, felt I had to fix it hashtag slow it's it called hashtag trained ear problems yeah, problem, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's a> good <laughs> call <laughs> trained DJ ear problems. problems yeah you got another question or i do indeed i'll end off with this one here um uh, so where do you see yourself in the next five years uh, either as a dj or producer or i guess both <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, honestly, I would. I haven't even dipped my toes into the producing factor. I think I would like to look into it, but I have. N I don't even have a clue as to where I would start with that. But it it's an idea. Uh, as for DJing, I guess I would. I would like to see myself just playing out at good parties. Not, I don't have to travel the world or anything, but just places mm -hmm. that are places where people are coming to hear what I w what I have to to play. Yeah. Awesome. Because I've been doing it for a while and I, I think people are missing out. Awesome. Yeah. I agree. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the draw. Ooh. The draw. Yeah, so we're going to be giving away. Actually, this person is going to be lucky. They're going to be get because the full release. Well, you guys can get the exclusive release on hardstyle.com. But if you guys want to get the full release before even released on Beatport and Spotify, this person is going to get it. So if you guys have been watching and answering questions, you are going to have a chance to win this EP. And awesome. if you guys oh, didn't answer, it's called the Hardest Fuck EP. <laughs> <laughs> European Takeover <laughs> by Romex from um, Amsterdam and <clears throat> by no Nolan Bash from Germany. Anyways, what were you going to say, Tim? Also, next weekend for our Labor Day special, we are, well, I guess I am going to be giving away guest list, two guest list spots to... Uh, data life on September 6th at Marquee Beer Market and Stage. Awesome. So. Awesome. When did you do that? That will be next week. Next week. Next week next is Monday. another yes, episode. The second. Uh, yeah. It's going to be Labor Day special. Oh, Labor Day special. Ooh, Shit. That's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's going to be special. <laughs> 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 I don't even know what else. Yeah, he didn't even know. He doesn't even know. He's like, oh, shit, that's Labor Day. Oh, God. Okay, Gotta well, we're going to be doing, <laughs> we're gonna be doing uh, the fucking draw now. Okay, Sal Steven Salisbury, you want to do the oh honors? Pickle right. claw, pickle claw. He has a like drum roll, please. Uh, is that oh. One? One? Yep. Yep. Open it up. Who is Who it? Who do we got tonight? Draco. Oh, Draco. Oh, Draco. Mr. Malfoy, you win. <laughs> Draco, you. Congratulations. Congrats. Um, yeah, if you guys want to get your names in the draw, all you got to do is watch every, every week and answer the simple questions. Um, yeah, you guys want to say any last words before we end the show? Great show. Thanks very much. Yeah, say, say, yeah, say honestly, it. Honestly, thank you for letting me on here. I've been yeah. thinking about it for a while. Nice. I didn't realize I just needed to message it and like get my ass moving. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> all I usually say. Yeah, Pretty that is true. It, that is true. Honestly, if you guys want to like get on the show, before for a while just, there regularly and just, just email, e either email me at beatnastybeats at hotmail.com or just if you have me on Facebook, just hit me up, um, private message. Yeah, I, I'm always on that shit. Send me a message as well, you know? Yeah. Cool. Let us know. Let us know because we're on the show. Yeah, we get you on the show. Don't be that shy, guys. <laughs> we don't bite, actually. 
We don't maybe, have that. Maybe a little bit, but only <laughs> if you like, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's always a fun time here. You always get it's four top twenty friendly all the time. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so yeah, Tim, you have any last things? Not a whole lot for me. Peace, love, unity, respect. Tune in next week yeah, tune in for next week. the uh, giveaway for Data Life. Data Life and, and yeah. some more stuff. Oh, yeah, our monthly gift bag as well. Oh, yeah, monthly gift bag. Monthly gift bag, so let's get buck. <laughs> you are now tuned into Late Night Being Nasty Nights.